your way to your way. God, we open our mouth to declare your glory in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Lord, you've been good to us all week long. Yeah, God. Yeah, yes, Lord. You've been good. You've been good. Every single day, you've been good. Even when the bad news came, you were still good. And we lift our hands as a sign of surrender. Oh, God, have your way in us right now. Have your way in our minds. Oh, God, let the things we think be about you. Let the thoughts that rest on our heart be about you. God, there's so much trying to invade our space. But God, this time we set aside for you. We set aside, oh God, to, oh God, to worship in your presence. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh God, while we're in your presence, God, we ask now, God, that you will forgive us of all of our sins and transgressions. Forgive us, oh God, for the wrong we've been and for the wrong we've done. We give it up now, God. We give up our pernicious ways. We give up our evil thoughts, oh God. We give up everything to you, God. Not only our failures, but our successes as well. We give it up to you, God. Hallelujah. Cleanse us and wash us, God. While we're in your presence, oh Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes to your will, God. Not my will, but thine be done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we ask that you will root us out, oh God. Take out everything, oh God, that should not be. Oh God, the stinking thinking, we surrender it right now. Oh God, that we may approach your throne of grace. Clean, oh God, from the inside out. There, yes, Lord, wash us, God, with your word. Purge us with hyssop and we shall be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. Oh God, hallelujah. We worship in your presence, God. We worship you, the almighty God. You are wonderful. You are counselor. You are the mighty God. You are the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. And we worship you. Oh God, settle us in you today. Oh God, the random thoughts right now are come against it in the name of Jesus. Say that the Lord God rebuke you. Trying to bring up everything that's not of God right now in this moment. This moment belongs to God. You are a defeated foe. And we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Say that the Lord God rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. You have no place here. This belongs to God. We are the vessels of God. Vessels of honor and not dishonor. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We call on your name this morning. Jesus. The name that heals. Jesus. The name that soothes. Come on, saints. Shout the name Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. The name that is above every name. Jesus. Oh, God, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Say it from the depths of your heart. Jesus. Oh, God, the name that saves. Jesus. Oh, that holy name. Jesus. That righteous name. Jesus. Ease us this morning, God. Oh, God, lift the burden from the heart of your people. Oh, God, hallelujah. Lift the burden, God. God, you set us free, God. Free, oh, God. You said that, God, therefore the Son shall set you free. Ye shall be free indeed. We thank you for freedom today in the name of Jesus. 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 We bless you today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, just stay right there. No hand clapping. Just stay right there. Surrender to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Block out everything and everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We bless you this day, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. 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 You said cast all of our care upon you because you care for us. Jesus. 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 Ease us while we're in your presence, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, I come against the struggle in the mind now. Yeah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, you said come boldly unto the throne of grace that to obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. God, we need you now. We need you. We need you. We need your guidance, Lord. We need your direction. We need your protection, God. We need you. We need you. We need you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Jesus. 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 I'm not going to let it go until you break through. Oh, God, I'm cognizant of the time. I'm cognizant of the place. But this is the moment divinely ordained for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, I feel God breaking through right now. Oh, God, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Usher, let them in the house. Let them in the house of God. Open the doors. I have no protocol. I have no verse with it. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Holy Ghost, you're welcome in this place. Holy Ghost, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for being the comforter. Uh, yes, Lord, the comforter. Uh, yes, Lord, the one, the one, the one. Uh, yes, Lord, the comforter. It soothes the troubled mind. Uh, brings peace in the midst of the storm. Uh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. The Lord said in his presence there's fullness of joy. What you're wrestling with, you won't find relief until you get into the presence of God. Hallelujah. He welcomes us into his presence. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You may not have crossed every T and dotted every I, but Jesus is calling for you to come into his presence today. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. God. Take away tradition again in the spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit search of all things, yeah, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. You don't know until God tells you. You haven't seen until God shows you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. While we're in this moment, come on. Lift your hands one more time and say, Feel me, Lord. With your Holy Spirit. Feel me, Lord. With the Holy Ghost. Yes, 
up, he'll come in. If you open up, he'll... Yeah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Yes, 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 yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your spirit in us, God. Fill us till we want no, no more. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't waste this moment. Uh, yes, God. Let God do what he's trying to do. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. For the weary, let God do it. Galatians 6 and 9. And let us, somebody say, let us. Not be weary. In well doing. For in due season, we shall reap. If we faint not. Oh, God. Hallelujah. God, do it right now. Do it now, God. Do it while we're tarrying in your presence. While we're waiting, God, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it for your glory. Do it. Because you're God. Do it. Hey, yes, Lord. And we shall give you glory. We shall give you honor. We shall give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You that are watching online, you receive the same thing we get here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, God, the Spirit of God is not confined to these four walls, but the Spirit of God is everywhere all the time. He is omnipresent. He knows everything. He is omniscient. He's all-powerful. He is omnipotent. Oh, God, hallelujah. I hear God say, take me out of the box. Oh, Jesus, take me out of the box. Oh, God, take me out of the box. Hallelujah. Let the Lord blow your mind with what he's trying to do. Let him blow your mind with what he's trying to pour into you. Let him blow your mind with where he's trying to take you. Let him blow your mind with what he wants to do through you. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I learned at Arthur Safety Preschool that thank you makes room for more. Yes, thank you. The more you thank him, the more he pours into you. The more you thank him, the more he blesses. The more you thank him, the stronger you get. The more you thank him. Hallelujah, the more he reveals himself to you. Oh, God. I want to speak to you that are caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, God. Jesus is the rock. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus is the rock. Mm. Stand on the rock. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. I know there's some catch-22s in the house, but uh, God is the, uh, the fixer. God is the remedy. God is the solution for everything. When God gave us Jesus, he answered every question. Come on, somebody. When God gave us Jesus, he healed every disease. Oh, God, when God gave us Jesus, he solved every problem. When God gave us Jesus, he did everything that would ever be needed for our lives. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. 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 No, you're not forgotten. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hallelujah. 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 He is still the burden bearer. If you give it to him, he'll fix it. If you release it, he'll take it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. 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 Take this time to tell God not only what's on your heart. Tell him about your needs, your wants and your desires. Tell him. Tell him he can handle it. Hallelujah.
If you tell me I can only pray with you, but if you tell him he can fix it. Somebody say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh, God, fix it, fix it, fix it. Somebody say, fix me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to do something for me. I want you to cap this prayer off with the best praise that you have. Come on, put those hands together. <laughs> to your word, the tenth of all of our increase. The offering is what we offer unto you. The offering is what our heart says is adequate for an almighty God. We pray, God, that you will multiply this seed back into the lives of those that have sown on today. Bless it, Lord. Increase it. Let it go into our future and await our arrival that we have all sufficiency in all things and may abound to every good work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen and amen. At this time, Sister J.R. Pryor is going to give us a short Selection. I feel like preaching, but uh, I, 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 I sense that some of y'all need a song to make a church service complete. I don't know why. Amen. But uh, so Jared just going to give us a short rendition. Amen. And then we'll hear what thus said the Lord. God bless you.
uh, it still hurts, but you know, I understand. Mm -hmm. Everybody not gonna like you, and uh, if they want to get to heaven, they gotta love you. Yeah. But they don't have to put up with you. We finding that out more and more. <laughs> but uh, I, I want to let you know that if you're not strong on the inside, you won't be able to deal with inside and outside antics from the enemy. If you're not strong minded, strong hearted, amen, strong in spirit, strong in your soul, then you will fail and falter during the test. And I believe that God has sent us a stress test this year. And may I say to you without offending you that uh, we haven't passed the test. We have, uh, we finished part of the test, but we haven't passed the test because, uh, uh, Lord have mercy, let me just look at the clock back there. Uh, some of us are still bothered by what other folks say. Mm -hmm. Have to understand that some people can't run nothing but their mouth, so that's what they do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We haven't gotten to the place where things in the world and even in the church don't bother us. Uh, from where I sit as the pastor of the Providence Church of God in Christ, I am seeing more personality conflicts than I ever have in these 16 and a half years of pastoring. It's not that we can't deal with tribulation, it's just that we can't deal with opposition. I just told you that not everybody's going to like you know what you do, but what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do when people don't support you the way that they should? What do I do? I go on anyhow. I started to say one monkey don't stop no show, but that wouldn't be right. Uh, I, I, I'm simply going to say that if, if someone has the power to stop what God is doing in you, then it may not be from God. Amen. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. Amen. So uh, we, we, we got to be strengthened yes. the more because God doesn't send a warning without something coming later on. You're going to need the strength that has been poured into you Sunday after Sunday. Yes. Amen. Wednesday after Wednesday. Amen. Exhortation after exhortation. And I've learned, it's been a hard lesson to learn, uh, I have uh, since throughout the week and uh, daily what the Lord has given me to sin and I'm finding out more and more that people don't even look at it. Don't even listen to it. Don't even take the time. And I, I know this because of the phone calls that I get saying I, I need this and I need that and I'm like I just covered that and you okay you didn't listen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And so, as we look at the people of Colossus, and this Colossians is the first chapter, and I'm, I'm off my soapbox, amen. As we look at the, the people here, we, we understand that the city of Colossus was a strange city. Much like Thomasville, High Point, Greensboro, the Triad, North Carolina, everywhere else in the world, uh, Colossus, uh, no one really knows why it was named. Some believe that it was because of Colossus of Rhodes, a statue, a Greek sun god, Helios. Some believe that it was Indo-European root word from uh, Colossus, which means setting up a sacred space or shrine. And they say this because in 60 AD, there was an earthquake. And after the earthquake came uh, the Archangel Michael. And uh, because the people are iconoclastic, they set up a, or made a statue uh, to Michael. And people would come from all around to see this shrine where Michael visited that land. That was in 60 
AD, and this text was written in 62 AD, but uh, how many know that you can't set up a statue to the messenger of God? You need to honor God. Hello, somebody. I know we lift folks up. Uh -huh. We put them up on a big pedestal. And as soon as they fail us, we want to tear down the statue. Well, if you were uh, focused at home there on Jesus, no matter what other folks do, you wouldn't be bothered. Let me move on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they also think uh, that Colossus comes from the name Colossal, which means to punish. Others think that the name comes from Colossinus, a famous dyed wool of that area and region in Turkey. But nevertheless, Colossus had some major issues of idolatry. We're seeing in this Christmas season that folks are buying gifts for people they don't know and don't like. Uh -huh. we, we are doing things because it's the thing to do when uh, the one whose birthday it is is Jesus, and we won't even give him the time of day. Understand that during the writing of Colossians, Paul was in prison in Rome. And he had heard that the people of Colossus had uh, accepted the gospel, and not only accepted it, but that the gospel of Jesus Christ had taken root in them. And I want you to remember these three words that the Colossians were uh, famous for in the mind of Paul because they had gravitated to the word of God. These three words are faith, love, and hope. Mm -hmm. Faith, love, and hope. They had faith that God could do anything. They began to love like God loved. And they had a hope that was beyond this world. If you don't have faith, love, and hope, you could have a dress down to the floor, sleeve down to the wrist, a hat that covers everything, but if you don't have faith, love, and hope, you just a costume character for Halloween. You've got to have it in your heart what God has sent Jesus Christ for. He didn't send Jesus Christ for us to beat up one another. He sent Jesus Christ Amen. so that we would be able to love yes. one another, yes. so that we would have faith in God, yes. so yes. that we would have hope for a future beyond Christmas, beyond New Year, yes. beyond our birthday. I've never, oh, okay, I'm not going back there. Yes. Amen. We've got to have what the Lord sent us from heaven. A whole lot of this stuff on earth is going to decay. It's going to rust. The moths are going to eat it up. But only what we do for the Lord Jesus yes. Christ is going to last. Yes. So why don't you just skip the middle man and go straight to Jesus. Yes. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Love one another. Yes. And have hope that the Lord's going to do what he said he would do. And so we have Paul in prison. We've got Timothy as the messenger between Colossus and Paul in prison. And then we have the pastor there in Colossus. His name was Epaphras. The Bible says that he was a dear fellow servant. He was a faithful minister of Christ. Not just a faithful church of God in Christ minister. Amen. Not just a faithful, uh, you know, pastor of providence, but he was a faithful minister yes. of Christ. And in light of the Christians, the Colossians' faith, love, and hope, Paul says in verse 9 of Colossians 1, for this cause, somebody say for this cause. For this cause. Mm -hmm. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we do not cease to pray for you and to desire, number one, that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. We get filled with a whole lot of stuff during the holidays. Eggnog is off the hook. Tennessee is off the shelf. Hey, Amen. I'll get back to the word. We get filled with a whole lot of stuff, but Paul says, in order to foster and grow your faith, your love, and your hope, you need to know more knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not only that, but you need wisdom and spiritual understanding to go with the knowledge that you get. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Wisdom is knowledge applied. Yes. Understanding is being able to take what you know and take what you know to do and do it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't get bent out of shape with folks. Keep your eyes on the law. Keep you. on reading your word. Keep on seeking what the word has to say for your life. Keep on hearing what people have to say. And you know with any preaching and teaching, you have to treat it like uh, like fish. Not like flounder, but like spot. Spot is one of the best tasting fishes I've ever had. But uh, spot has a lot of bones in it. Amen. You eat the flesh and you throw out the bones. Amen. You take what the word says and you throw out all the extra stuff. Amen. You've got to be grown to do that. You've got to have wisdom to do that. Yes. You've got to have a spiritual yes. understanding yes. to yes. do that. Otherwise, you'll end up fighting one another, backbiting one another, hating one another, and not helping one another. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Verse 10 says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. What you learned in 1972, you need to add a little bit to it because God's got more he wants to show you. More he wants to do for you. More he wants to do through you. And then verse 11 says that you might be strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Amen. Uh, Paul's prayer is that you might have knowledge, that you might have wisdom, that you might have understanding, that you might walk worthy, be fruitful, and then be strengthened with the power of God. Strength we need for patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Amen. If folks can frustrate you on Monday after you get this word on Sunday, something's wrong. Amen. Something's wrong. If they can frustrate you walking out of here, something's wrong. If you can come out of prayer and somebody trip you up and have you trip it all day long, something is wrong. We need strength for the journey with God. We need strength to walk through fire with gasoline clothes on. We need strength, oh God, to put up with what the enemy throws out. We need strength on the inside. We need strength in our minds. We need strength in our hearts. We need strength in our soul. We need strength for what God has come in our way. God wants to do more for you, but you can't do it without his strength. God wants to do more through you, but you can't do it without his strength. God wants to help, but you can't get it without the strength to hold it. Oh, bless his name. In other words, hallelujah, strength not to get bent out of shape by what other people saved or unsaved do. The enemy seeks to get us short-tempered, seeks to get us nearsighted, seeks to get us hot-headed. But somebody said the devil is alive. The devil is alive. Amen. Ain't nobody gonna push my buttons like that. But I'm gonna take it to God. You may come at me one way, but I'm gonna send it up to God. Amen. You've got to have the strength of God in order to bear under the pressures of life. When your body gets to hurt, you gotta have strength to pray and say, Lord, touch my body. I had to do it the other day. I started feeling all kinds of bad. Amen. And I blame Deacon Ryan. Lord, let me, let me take 20 seconds. I blame Deacon Ryan. I went to the gym the other day, and I had this workout, this, this video workout with this man named Ted. Amen. He does these plyometrics and cardio, and I, I put in the work the other day, Sister Tanya, and I was feeling good coming out the gym. But when I woke up on Saturday morning, I could barely walk. I said, what's going on here? Amen. But Deacon Ryan pushes me to go to the gym. So that I won't have to be bent over at 90 years old. I can still stand strong. I can still jump and run. Hallelujah. And last night I was hurting bad missionary. And I had to ask the Lord. I said, Lord, touch this body. Because I don't know if I'm going to make it tomorrow. And when I woke up this morning, not a pain in my body. Hallelujah. Not a pain anywhere. Somebody said, God will do it. God will do it if you just trust him. Amen. And you got to have strength to be able to pray your way through, to press your way through. The enemy ain't going to make it easy on you, so you just got to do what God says do. Amen. I love what Proverbs 24 and 10 says. He says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Amen. You don't want to give up. They are under pressure, but you want to be able to rise up. Hallelujah. You want to be able to stand strong. Stand tall. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to get folks and put them in their place. Number one, you got to put God 
in the, when the good times run. Oh, but they said, we're not going to bow. But this is their answer to Nebuchadnezzar. When he threatened to throw them in the fiery furnace, he says, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us. Somebody say, he's able. He's able. He's able to deliver. He's able. he's able to get you out of what you're in. He's able to get you over the house. He's able to pull you out of the fire. He's able. Oh, bless his name. Somebody give God a praise right now. Give God a praise because he's able. Give God a praise because he can. Give God a praise because he will. Give God a praise.
and we have to get through the end of this year. But I come to tell you today that when you're sick, somebody say, Our God King. Our God King. When you're sad, Our God King. When you're hurting, Our God King. When you're desperate, Our God King. When you're ailing, Our God King. When you're angry, Our God King. When you're battered, Our God King. When you're confused, Our God King. When you're vexed by society, Our God King. When you're broke, Our God King. When you're weary, Our God King. When you're weak, Our God King. When you're lost, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
glory, glory, glory. Want to anoint you. I'm just being obedient to the Spirit of the Lord. I'm not a wonder worker. I'm praying that you get it. I'm praying that you, you know, just become super. Just praying that God will do what he has intended to do in your life. Understand we're still in COVID protocol. I'm not trying to get anyone sick. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to get in mind what you have on the table of your heart. Not everybody got delivered at the beginning of service today. Some of us still have some stuff before God. Some of us have that osmosis faith, you know. It's like that smoking patch you put on your shoulder that the medicine just, the nicotine sinks in so that you don't go grab for the cancer stick. <laughs> Some of us have that osmosis faith. It takes a little while for it to sink in. But today, as I anoint you, I also turn you over to the Lord. For him to deal with you one-on-one. -on -one. For him to strengthen you. Yes. For him to increase your faith. For him to increase your love. And for him to give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. God do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God do it in Jesus' name. For your servant, God do it in Jesus' name. Do it, Lord. Do it for your glory, God. Do it, God, because you're God. Hallelujah. Do it, Lord. Do it, do it, do it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood. The cleansing blood. The washing blood. The strengthening blood. The blood. The blood that covers. The blood that heals. The blood that makes whole. The blood. The blood. The blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood, Lord. The blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. It will never lose its power. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Will you give God the praise right now? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Will you please prepare your holy communion at this time? The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, 23-34. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the, test is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Hallelujah. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
pray, our Father in heaven. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for salvation, oh God. Thank you for the blood being applied to our lives. God, we honor you and we bless you this day. We say thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for your covering and your keeping. Thank you for your daily provision, oh God. Thank you for your new mercies, oh God. Thank you for forgiveness, oh Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will wipe the slate clean between us and you. Forgive us, God, of our sins, transgressions, and iniquities. Forgive us, God, for every sinful thought, every sinful act, every sinful thing. Wash us, God. Make us meet for the master's use. Make us fit, oh God, for the kingdom of God. And Lord, we come this day, oh God, in remembrance of you. We pray, God, that you will bless this bread as it represents your body broken for us. Bless this juice as it represents your blood shed for us. We ask, God, that you will change these instruments from their natural use into that which is spiritual. We honor you, we praise you, and we magnify you. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Amen and amen. The night in which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took bread. When he had break it, he said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do as often as ye eat it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it. Have we sing this song? Glory, glory. Yes, Jesus. 
Help us, Lord. Yeah, in our times of distress, we trust you, Lord. We thank you for faith, love, and hope. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Amen and amen.